Thank you for coming. We're going to make some history together today. So, welcome to Macworld. You know, it was, uh, it was just a year ago that I was up here and announced that we were going to switch to Intel processors. A huge heart transplant to Intel microprocessors. And uh, I said that we would do it over the coming 12 months. We did it in seven months. And it was the, <clears throat> it's been the smoothest and most successful transition that we've ever seen in the history of our industry. And it was because <clears throat> we made a beautiful, seamless version of OS X for Intel processors. And our team created Rosetta software, which lets you run PowerPC apps on top of OS X on Intel processors. Our hardware team got to cranking out a new Mac with Intel processors every month. And we completed this transition in seven months. But we didn't do this alone. We did this with the help of a lot of folks. Our new colleagues at Intel really helped us. Thank you very much. <clears throat> our our third-party developers rapidly moving their apps to universal versions to run at native speeds on Intel processors. Thank you very much. <laughs> and most of all, our users. The minute you saw these lightning fast machines, you bought them. And we've had an extremely successful year, and I want to thank our users very much. <laughs> now, as many of you know, our retail stores have, for a while, been selling over half their Macs to people who've never owned a Mac before, switchers. Well, I'm pleased to report that now in the US, Macs selling through all channels, over half of them are selling to people who've never owned a Mac before. It's not just limited to our retail stores anymore. Half the Macs we're selling in the US. We are picking up lots and lots of new members of the Mac family and we couldn't be happier. As a matter of fact, uh, here's uh, uh, one that might be coming on soon. Jim Mulchin at Microsoft was quoted recently as saying if he didn't work for Microsoft, he would buy a Mac, and he's retiring soon, so I've alerted our Seattle stores to keep an eye out for him and <laughs> give him really good service. <clears throat> you know, uh, Vista's coming out, and uh, you know our ads with the Mac guy and the PC guy? Uh, we made a little ad for Vista, and uh, I'd love to show it to you now if you'd like to see it. <laughs> So let's go ahead and run it. Hello, I'm a Mac. And I'm a PC. What, are you going in for a checkup? Well, I'm upgrading to Vista today, which oh, cool. is great, but I get a little nervous when they mess around with my insides. Well, what do you mean? Isn't it just straightforward? Not really. Like a lot of PCs, I have to update my graphics card, my memory. If I want the premium package, I need a faster processor. It's major surgery. I'm sorry about that. Listen, Mac, if I don't come back, I want you to have my peripherals. Oh, come on. PC, you're not good. Oh, speaking of peripherals. <laughs> so, 2007 is going to be a great year for the Mac. But this is all we're going to talk about the Mac today. We're going to move on to some other things. And over the course of the next several months, we're going to roll out some awesome stuff for the Mac. But for today, we're going to move on. So the first thing I'd like to do is give you an update about our music business. As you know, we've got the, the iPod, best music player in the world. We've got the iPod Nanos, brand new models, colors are back. And we've got the amazing new iPod Shuffle. 
The iPod, in addition to being the world's best MP3 player, has become the world's most popular video player, and by a large margin. The iPod Nano is the world's most popular MP3 player, by a wide margin. And the new Shuffle is the world's most wearable MP3 player. <laughs> so we had an incredible lineup for this holiday season, all refreshed and new products. Now, I'd like to tell you a few things about iTunes now that are pretty exciting. Number one, we have crossed a major milestone. We have sold over two billion songs on iTunes. It's amazing. Now, there was, some, there was an article recently that said iTunes sales had slowed dramatically. I don't know what data they're looking at, but uh, this is our data. And what we see is iTunes sales were really up this past year. Uh, it took us over three years to get to a billion songs. We got our second billion in 10 months in 2006. And growing off us over 600 million song base, we doubled it in 2006. So we couldn't be happier with the growth rate of iTunes and selling 2 billion songs. Now we are selling over 5 million songs a day now. Isn't that unbelievable? Five million songs a day. That's 58 songs every second of every minute of every hour of every day. And the last time we talked to you, we said that we were the fifth largest music reseller in the US. Now, all these other guys sell music on CDs, and of course, we sell it online. But if you add up all the music that's sold, we were the fifth largest reseller. Because of the growth of iTunes, I'm pleased to report that we have now passed Amazon we sell more music than Amazon, and we are now number four. And you can guess who our next target might be. So, so that's an update for music. Now I want to talk about TV shows. We've got awesome TV shows on iTunes. As a matter of fact, we have over 350 TV shows that you can buy episodes from on iTunes. And I'm very pleased to report that we have sold now 50 million TV shows on iTunes. Isn't that incredible. <laughs> now, now let me go on to movies. When we started with television shows, the pioneering partner we had was the Walt Disney Company. They decided to throw in with us and sell TV shows, and boy, did it work. Well, when we decided to sell movies, they were right there with us again as our pioneering partner to sell movies. And I am really pleased to announce that in the first four months of selling movies, we have sold 1.3 million movies on iTunes, which I think has exceeded all of our expectations. And today, we have a new partner joining the Walt Disney Company to sell movies on iTunes, and that is Paramount. <laughs> Paramount is going to be selling the movies on iTunes. And, uh, we're thrilled because they have some awesome movies. Let me just show you a few of the titles here that are going up as we, as we speak. All, all six Star Trek movies. So we are going to be moving up from the 100 movies we've offered so far to over 250 movies now offered on iTunes. These are getting up as fast as we can over the next week or so. And we hope to be adding even more movies as other studios throw in with us as 2006 rolls on. So that's an update on iTunes. Now, as I said, we had a very strong lineup of music players for this holiday season. We always have stiff competition. That's just part of this business. And we had a new competitor this last holiday season. Uh, which was, of course, Microsoft's Zoom. So how'd they do? Well, we don't have data for December yet, because it's not out until next week or the week after, I forget. But we have data for November, which was their launch month. Should have been real big. And they garnered 2% market share. 2% market share. Uh, iPod had 62% market share, and the rest had 36 now, again, we don't have data for December. We know we went up uh, uh, quite a bit in December in terms of market share. And uh, we'll find out how they did. But 2% in their launch month. So no matter how you try to spin this, um, what can you say? 